I'm in the recycling center, and they've given me trash. It's not an analogy or anything deep. That's my current, that's my current predicament. It sounded kind of deep, though. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Escape 1. A uh, couple quick things. Uh, thank you all so far for the support on the series. Um, every like is greatly appreciated. Every comment, and especially every subscription gained, is well appreciated. Uh, the other thing is I've been putzing a little bit around with the noise on my... Or with some of the settings of my OBS. So I, I use OBS to record. It's free. And it's a hell of a lot better than when I started using it like four or five years ago. So just now, I was typing on my keyboard. And you'll notice you couldn't hear it. I installed a... I have options on OBS, as it turns out, to put on different filters, different... Uh, different sort of things on the audio and I put on a gate so hopefully when I'm talking you'll be able to hear me you'll still be able to hear the keyboard as I'm talking because the gate is open but when I stop talking you hopefully won't be able to hear the keyboard so that's uh so I'm hoping that that'll at least cut back on some of the keyboard noise I looked at getting a new keyboard like one of the silent mechanical keyboards and they're 200 bucks and I can't afford that right now. So I might hope I get some money for Christmas. And then I can hopefully get a silent keyboard and then pass this one off to my brother or something. Or maybe resell it to him for like 50 bucks. But uh, anyways, so where we left off, I had to solve this puzzle. So I have to open up this door to get into what I assume is the incinerator. Um, another thing that I'm also doing with my is I turn the gain down on my, on my headset. So, or on my, on my mic. So, uh, hopefully, hopefully it sounds better if, like, you guys could let me know. But anyway, so, I found these pieces of paper. I think you just... I think you just, uh... Okay, so it's a bit of a throwing act here. So throw that one there. Throw that one there, okay. Nice. Nice. Oh, I thought that would open up something. Was I wrong? That seemed like that would be the solution. Great elevator. So that didn't open up anything, did it? So that was not the solution. So what was? Does not seem to work. Okay. Well, I don't know what the solution is then. That room. Did I find anything here in this office? I don't think I did. I don't know if there was anything to find here in this office. Hmm. I'm not going to give up, because so far I've been pretty lucky that... Uh, kind of stumbled into the solutions as I've gone. This office just held this stuff. That was for the bookshelf puzzle. And the library is now closed off, so I'm done with the library. The recycling center, however... I wonder if I need to recycle something. No, that doesn't appear to be it. Something here that I'm missing that I can interact with, mayhaps. Does appear not to be the case. I thought I would throw the piece of paper on here and that would be the... Okay, so maybe... Alright, so that's not the solution. Well, not yet. That's not the solution yet. I did get stuff back here already, which was the... I picked up a flashlight or something back here. Doesn't appear to be anything to do necessarily over here, or nothing that's obvious yet. Which is fine. Somehow... I think I need to get into the incinerator somehow, but I don't know 
how to do that. Oh, there's an invisible wall there. Okay. So I can't interact with anything there. Yeah, like I can't believe that wasn't the solution. I thought putting the pieces of paper on there is trash. I'm in the recycling center and they've given me trash. It's not an analogy or anything deep. That's my current that's my current predicament. It sounded kind of deep though. my answer. I don't want to take a hint because I've stumbled into solutions before. Might need the flashlight still, so I'm not ditching that quite yet. I don't want to take the hint. I don't know if I did anything in this office yet. In Office 11. I will just like reset a spawn point there real quick. Office 11, there appears just to be a table, some chairs. This bookshelf seems strangely unfilled. Can I craft something with these pieces of paper? I don't think so. Nothing that I can think of off the top of my head. I thought there was a button up there. Oh! Where can we store books? Next hint. Can we store books? What? Okay. Let the record reflect I accidentally hit that again. I think I'm done in there. You know what? Screw it. You've seen this code somewhere? What code? Wait a second. Wait a second. Code somewhere? Yes, I have seen this code. Right there, there's the code. Okay. How would I have figured that one out? Well, you know what? I say how would I have figured that one out? And I did figure out the one puzzle that revolved around that. So hang on. I don't like that. Nope, I knew I didn't like that. But why did I not like that? Well, here comes death number six, baby. Alright, so I opened up the incinerator. Do I throw the paper in the, re in the incinerator? Oh, uh, volume. Escape volume one. Oh, look at that. Look at that custom texture. That's pretty sweet. And I put the book here. Oh. Interesting. So this is the way forward? Pickaxe. A potion of night. I'm not going there quite yet. What's down this way? Nothing that I can interact with yet. So the pickaxe and the potion of night are probably going to be the next, are definitely the next couple things that I... Interesting. You know, I want to say how good this map is. Like, if, if you guys are following along and want to stop watching the playthrough and get this map and play it yourself, Please, by all means, I completely get it. This map is incredible. I am in love with this map. Starting to get a little dark. So this must be what the Ocean of Night Vision is for. So this is probably my favorite map of the year so far. 
Trust me, I've liked all the maps I've played so far this year, but... Wait, what? Am I done? Already? Wait, I'm already done with the map? Huh. I was not expecting that. I could have done this in one part. So this is the... Um, what was I going to say? So this is the uh, issue sometimes with doing a map, is that you can't plan for when you suddenly finish the map, as I've just done now. Oh, wait. Oh, there's dialogue. Okay, 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 okay. Um, hi. What am I doing here? Uh, as you can see, I'm sunbathing because beyond this weird bunker, there's nothing more on the horizon than sand forever. Single biome. Sorry, you're sunbathing here, but what are we... But what were the death skeletons down there then? Ah, oh, that's just decoration to make RP. RP, you know, I was born besides. The whole bunker is a joke. There is nothing more to do in this world of sand either than sunbathing. I invented this. I invented this thing. This thing. In any case, GG and well done. You're master of escape title. You can support my... Oh, uh, support me. Yes, don't jump in the pool. Don't jump in the pool. Um, don't tell me what to do. Warned you. Dark water is toxic, as you would expect. Uh, so... Wow. So that... Oh. So that's it. The map's done. Wow, I can't, I can't believe it. You know what? I didn't grab a good thumbnail. I thought I'd be going after this for a while longer. You know what? This is the thumbnail. That's the thumbnail of the episode. So, what are my thoughts on this ep on this map? Oh my gosh, this map is a contender for my map of the year. I I love the map. I thought the puzzles were very were challenging enough for what they were. Um, I never felt like I was super stuck at any point in the map, except that last part, but I kind of did that more or less to keep the playthrough running. And uh, honestly, I should have paid more attention to the board. That's like escape rule number one. So things I liked about the map, the ambience was perfect. This map, this map pack is amazing. I, I love it. This is, this is awesome. This is an awesome map pack or an awesome Awesome texture pack. The vibe of the map, the mysterious nature of it was awesome. Um, I loved the environment, and I absolutely loved the puzzles. The puzzles were perfect for this map. Uh, so let's talk about the criticisms. So I don't have much for criticism. Again, I thought the puzzles were reasonably, challenge were reasonably challenging. The environment was awesome. Uh, a big thing that I talk about, a big thing of my rating, my rating is completely arbitrary, you know, the... You know, the ratings made up and the points don't even matter. But the thing that I loved most about this map was... Or the one thing that I think the map could benefit from is being is being a little longer. Uh, one or two more puzzles kind of thrown in. Um, you know, a, a map... I'd say a map should be about an hour and a half, two hours worth of playtime. I think I finished this in just about an hour. And that could just be because I didn't get super stuck on a lot of the puzzles. So that's my only criticism for the map, is I would have loved to have seen it be longer with some more puzzles in it. This map was incredible. I cannot talk about this map enough. I loved it. So as for a rating system for it, I'm going to give it 9.5 out of 10 hint buttons. Awesome map. Absolutely loved it. Once again, that is a rating of nine and a half hint hint buttons out of a possible ten. 
a great job. I can't wait for part two. And oh, look at it. They have little the little testers here. And uh, I really and I cannot wait for part two in this series. I hope there is a continuation of the storyline as well. Um, but unfortunately, I've run out of things to talk about. So this one's going to be a little bit of a shorter episode, I guess. I like the little troll face. I don't see troll face often enough these days. So uh, with that, everybody, this has been Bleaker. Be seeing ya.